In this video, I'll show you just how powerful space claim can be in the context of working with a large assembly. So I've opened up a large assembly. You see that it took just a couple of seconds to open up. And to give you an idea of how big it is, if I select every component on the model, you'll see that there's about 2,400 exactly. So a lot of components, I'd say this is fairly large. Now maybe you want to make some kind of a complex edit to this assembly, namely moving some components around, maybe changing the the height of a, of a certain couple of components. It's very easy to do in space claim. First of all, there's probably some components that I don't want uh, that just kind of get in the way. So the Power of Space Claim selection tools enables me to just grab one thing on the screen and using a handy up selector, I can easily take that what was initially a face that I selected and then hide the entire component that houses it. Now let's get on to the movement I want to make. Maybe the set of beams and lights and the auger, I want to move those up a certain amount. Well again, I'll start using the selection techniques in Space Claim to start getting just a couple of things that I'm after um, on the right hand side. And before I actually go to do the movement, I'm going to group all of those things into a selection group for the purpose of being able to select them easily later. Now you'll see exactly what I'm doing in a second. And In fact that group that I just created will go ahead and hide everything on the screen because that'll make it a little bit easier to select the remaining components that I need. Now Space Claim is so smart in the way it selects it'll either get just some faces that you want or an entire component. So it uniquely selects things in a way that will allow me to make this precise movement. Okay, now I'll go ahead and show everything on the screen and bring it back because everything I do need to move I've stored in a couple of groups. I'll go ahead and, and select those and basically erase them and create a brand new one that's going to house both of those. So I've merged the two together and we'll give it a unique name, this, this uh, group that houses all the components I want to move and we'll call it height. Now what's interesting about this is that it's not just selecting components. If I show in the bottom of the screen, it's selecting 48 components and 22 faces. So a good combination of things. And if you think about it, some parts need to move fully, but just some faces need to move as well. Well, this selection technique went ahead and selected everything intelligently in an intuitive way. Now, with that move tool, with everything selected, I could dynamically go and move the entire height of this assembly, the frame, the lights, and the auger to the exact height that I want. I could put a relative change in and say this needs to go up two meters, or maybe I want to define its location to some other milestone spot, like an edge on the bottom and say that needs to be exactly 10 meters or 10,000 millimeters. So it's very easy to make these changes that would otherwise be time consuming from geometry that I may not have even created in space claim. I was able to take this, bring it in, and add some intelligence to the model. Grabbing uh, certain faces and certain components, moving them at will, without knowing the intelligence built into the model beforehand. So thank you for watching.